Here we have the jam player. And we'll hit our load song button. And we'll choose this Bach cello suite by Andrew York. Now we'll load up and start playing. We have a volume control for it. And our output level. Up here we have our on off switch. So you can start at the beginning just by swiping across there. You can change the pitch if we want. Lower the pitch. Keep lowering it. Nice if we want to change keys on a song. We can go higher. Makes it handy to match up with something that's tuned down a half a step. Stevie Ray Vaughan song, you don't want to retune. Just, just change the pitch on that. Now, over here we have our speed control, and we'll switch that to 75. You can see the value up here has changed to 0.75. That'll be three quarter speed. Start that over. Bring it to 50% right there. Now we'll activate one of our loops. The A will be the uh, point that it starts and B will be the end point. So one of the tricks that I use to set my A is I have it at 50% so that I have more time to set my spot. So right at the beginning here, boom. Kick in the A. Right here I'll put the end point at B. And there's a little uh, loop button right here. And that'll start the loop going back and forth. Right. Bring it back up to 75%. Bring it back up to 100. And there we have it. So if we wanted to do like a uh, Van Halen solo here, let's see, bring an eruption here. Let's drop that down to about three quarters here. And we'll go about to, let's see, 20, eh, around 28 or so. So the loop. Put our end point there. Start looping. Slow it down to 50%. And there we have it. Okay, so we're going to take a look at a few presets here and see what's going on behind the scenes. Here's our uh, A1 5153 squealer. <laughs> pretty big sound. So across the top there you can see what's made up but really what we want to do is go um, and hit our amp effects and we can see that <clears throat> we have a, a line, a yellow line there and everything that is hooked onto the line is now um, active. So take that out of there. How much noise do we get saved by the noise gate? So I pretty much have a noise gate on, on all my uh, presets. We uh, 
bring down the sensitivity of it and start to see what kind of noise it's uh, stopping. So that's pretty awesome right there. Uh, next in line is our uh, stop and I'm using the metal zone <clears throat> and the um, one of the big things here is that mid frequency. To get those pinch harmonics so I like to see the uh, mid frequencies up there around um, two o'clock or so and one of the nice things about the program is up on the left hand side here we see value is 4.4 that would be the last setting from the last knob that I moved so when I move this one you can see it jumps up to 6.8 7 7.3 so if you really want to analyze where your uh, settings are at that's a great way to do it so that knob right now I could write down for my mid frequency 7.5 just move the high one a little and you can see it's around 6, 6.1, 6, 6.3 distortion right around the same so for each of these knobs you're going to have a value that you can set we go to our reverb here and um, you know basic on and off room size makes a big difference if I wanted to tighten this up a lot I could um, do it that way just by closing down the room size making them bigger here and let's go for our amp and so all these are adjustable we've got our overall volume we can bring that whole volume down here So now we go back to our preset. So let's say I want to save those changes. You'll see right above A1 it says hold to edit. So if we hold that down until that comes up, if I overwrite that, then that will save the settings that I um, presently have there. Um, let's go ahead and do that and show you. It takes two seconds. So now those settings are there. Hold it down again. I'm going to edit the rename it. 5153 squealer and so all I have to do is type in something and hit OK and there I go okay welcome back to our uh, presets nice usable one there so as before we go to our amp and effects and we can see uh, there's our amplifier and so let's say we want to try out some other amps here double click on that baby and here they are Missed one. There's itself already. Like Lux. Silver 20. Ain't it great to have all these amps? Haha. <laughs> So, that's just a starting point for the sound. You can tell that it makes a bit of difference um, between the amps that are really clean and the amps that are on the other end of the scale. But in between, if you choose uh, you know, lead 900 and you, and you start to build your preset, it's going to sound a lot different than if you choose you know, RB101 and start making your preset. By the time you're done with it, it's going to sound a lot different. So let's... Uh, put this back on our orange guy here and um, to get back to where I was you've got this left-handed arrow boom 
Uh, and we've got noise gate active. Double click that. We have two choices at the moment. We have noise gate and we have noise filter. Noise filter um, with the higher end gain damps doesn't really have that um, much of an effect compared to the noise gate. The immediate change is not there. Go back to my noise gate. You can see, boom, cuts it right off. Bring up some decay. Go back. Let's take a look at our next one. Stop. Double click on that. We've got all these guys. Fuzz. Overdrive pedal. Red comp. The uh, rat. Metal zone. You've seen that before. Tube comp works great on the acoustic and on the bass for sure. Sustainer. Booster. Nice little boost. Let's see, it's come back to our fuzz face. Screamer. Then um, here we've um, activated this by uh, turning him on. We've got a nice little EQ there. You know, if you want to kick up the high end a little. Take him out. Echo. Double click on him. We've got digital delay. Got this reverse, which is cool. Multi head. And echo delay. So quite a few choices there. Back to our digital delay. Uh, let's see, bring in the mod pedals. Phaser. Double click on him. Got chorus. Phaser. Tremolo. Vibrato. Rotary. A lot of these are going to sound better with a cleaner amp than that. Ottawa. Here's our three reverbs. We've got our digital reverb there. Got our spring reverb. And our room simulator reverb. That's a quick tour of those. One of the great things you can fool around with is the order of the effects. So you can see my reverb is on the left side of the amp. Just drag it to the right side. So drag things around, see how, what the sound difference is. Put the reverb after the mod. Delay before you reverb. 